Okay, I didn't like running at all uh, because my my event when I used to compete was swimming, 100 meters uh, breaststroke. I always had a perfect body. Everybody was like, oh my god, oh my god, look at this guy. Like you remember the video made in India, right? I do. Yeah, yeah. that was in 1995 when oh. I stopped modeling. Okay. So if you look at that video, yeah. you see my body? Yeah. It's beautiful. Amazing. <laughs> Even when I look at it today, I say, oh, 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 look at this guy, he's so... Hello everyone, my name is Onam Gupta and you're watching India.com Z Media. So today, who I'm going to interview needs no introduction, cause, uh, but yeah, he's handsome, charming and moreover, the fittest of all. Let's welcome Milan Soman with us. Thank you, Onam. For that lovely introduction. <laughs> I'm very well. I just had a wonderful time running uh, uh, the Earth Day run with Mall of uh, India, Noida. Mall of India, eh? I keep making mistakes. DLF. DLF Mall of India, Noida. It was, it was an amazing run. I did the 10 kilometers and the, the, the excitement was so high, I did the 5 kilometers also. Oh, yeah. And I was looking for you, but you weren't there. <laughs> you didn't run. You know, I heard somewhere that you completed your first marathon, like half marathon at the age of 38. Yeah. And uh, you know how has been the journey so far? Since I was 38? No, so now I'm 58? <laughs> Marathon of course. It's been it's fun. I, I, so the, the thing is that when I started, I used to hate running. Okay, I didn't like running at all. Uh, because my, my event when I used to compete was swimming. 100 meters uh, breaststroke. And um, uh, you know, every, every time we were training and the coach would say go and run, we all used to pretend to run and come back and we ah, were very good, very good. So I used to really not like it. I thought it was monotonous and boring and kya log aise rahe, kahin, bhi nahi rahe, aise. So I couldn't understand it till uh, the Mumbai Marathon started in uh, 2004. So I said I should do at least one. Ek karke, bas. Once in my life I want to do uh, a marathon. So I did the half, 21 kilometers. So I trained for it. I started with like 3 kilometers then I went up to. The, on the race day I did 21 and I felt so good. I said, wow, I'm 38 and I could run 21 kilometers without stopping. This is so fantastic. I want to do more. You know? okay. And then slowly I began to love running and I loved it so much. I did a full marathon. Then I ran from Ahmedabad to Bombay. Then I ran from Delhi to Bombay. Then I said, shit, this is too much. I need to control it because too much of anything is not good. <laughs> and uh, then I just uh, was competing in, uh, you know, doing races of marathon distance, 42 kilometers. Once in a while doing Ahmedabad, Bombay again or some other one city to another city. Um, last year I did Jhansi to Delhi, you know, about 400 kilometers. So things like that, whenever I get a chance, I run. If I, can, if I, if I could run every day, I would run every day, but yeah. it's difficult sometimes. So, uh, you know, you practice yoga, you just yeah. you did... You know, I don't actually practice yoga. You don't? No, my wife practices yoga. Okay, you just said like you do a lot of marathons, you do swimming too. I run, I swim, yeah. I cycle. So any, you know, coming to that, any one exercise that, you know, calms your mind and body the most, that is your personal favorite? Running. Running? Yeah, and swimming. Running and swimming. And cycling. Yeah. Basically any yeah. exercise, and this is a scientific yeah. fact, any yeah. exercise reduces your stress. Okay. Yeah, it, it helps you to think clearly. It helps you to be more confident. It helps you to believe in yourself more. So that helps you in every aspect of life. Yeah. So it is a scientific fact that exercise, any exercise will help you with that. Okay. So all you have to do is find out some movement that you enjoy. Yeah. Even if it's skipping or yoga or jogging or walking, anything, yeah. push-ups, pull-ups, Pilates. Was there any uh, you know, pressure on you to have that perfect body? To look I always had a perfect body. <laughs> Everybody was like, oh my god, oh my god, look at this guy. And there was nothing for me to do. But well, Because when yeah. I started, yeah. you know, this is, I'm talking about 1988. Yeah. In India, there was no person, you know who the film star was at that time? Govinda. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Rishi Kapoor. Yeah. So, where was the question of having a perfect body? In the Indian mind, that was, uh, Indian men were like that. Yeah. So, when I started modeling, because I was a competitive swimmer, I had a fantastic body. Yeah. And everybody used to say, wow, yeah, this, is, this is amazing. <laughs> yeah. You know, so I had no pressure. I was like, what are you talking about? This is just normal, you know. <laughs> so, no, were there any rejections that took a toll on your mental health? I've never been phase? rejected in my life. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> never. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, of course. I mean, <laughs> but <laughs> it's the truth. But see, I was lucky also. When I started modeling, yeah. when I started, I didn't even know modeling was a profession. Okay. I didn't even know. Somebody just said, you know, can we take some pictures of you? I said, no, 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 no. 
they said we'll pay you yeah. i said theek hai kitna denge so they offered lot of money 50000 rupees oh. to stand in the corner yeah. you know and i said that's amazing for you know one hour two hours i said yeah. i have to do nothing you pay me 50000 rupees <laughs> and this is in 1988 oh. okay so i was lucky yeah. now there are 2 million models at that time there were 20 30 models that's yeah. it no competition no competition so you like oh million so <laughs> amazing yeah. yeah that's great uh, like you remember the video made in india right i do yeah, yeah. that was in 1995 when oh. i stopped modeling okay so if you look in that video yeah. you see my body yeah it's beautiful amazing <laughs> Even when I look at it today, I say, "Oh, look at this guy! He's so..." But that was a different time. Ever you have entered the industry yeah. and did a lot of unconventional things. Yes. And you know, naked like, modeling. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Uh, so you know, was that spirit that made you uh, coming so far, or you are not that like rebel anymore? Do you feel? No, I don't think I'm a rebel. It's just that I like to experiment. and sometimes when you experiment experiment means you're doing things that nobody has ever done okay so like even say the music video it was yeah. just it was one of the first music videos it's the first mu- music video that came on MTV Asia it got an award uh, then the first uh, english serial that yeah. was done i was in it mouthful of sky yeah. then the first science fiction yeah. uh, you know hero like captain vyom i i did that so a lot of things just happened to be the first like i was the first male supermodel you know that but that was also given that's a, it's a title given by media it's not like i went and said i am the supermodel i am the supermodel it just happened like that what do you think of the actors you know who nowadays they look same and have the same type of body you know they are going to the same phase of that uh, when you have to uh, yeah. build that maintain body or something so what do you want to say about that like well it, i i think it's a good thing because india the mindset that we have is changing earlier nobody used to talk about health or fitness or sports or exercise and now maybe because they see more of it on screen yeah. Yeah. they can see tiger shroff they can see rithik roshan they can see and most like you said most of the actors today shahid kapoor yeah. got great bodies yeah. Yeah. Uh, they really maintain it well and if it's required for the role also they change the way they look which that is sometimes risky for your health you know yeah. but otherwise to have a fit body uh, and more than a fit body be able to do things that denote fitness yeah. you know like for me i don't care how i look yeah. it's what i can do yeah. that is more important can i run 40 km yeah. can i swim 10 km yeah. you know that is important yeah. i don't care how i look that's i just look good that's my chance <laughs> so you know coming to that do you have any like uh, actor you admire the most because of the dedication and fitness who amitabh bachchan amitabh bachchan amitabh bachchan of course <laughs> everybody likes amitabh bachchan but let me tell you my idea of fitness yeah is being able to deal with the life that you have chosen yeah right yeah. a lot of celebrities can't deal with it they go crazy yeah. they start doing drugs they drink they yeah. go get depressed they can't deal with it they're not fit for it they're good for it but not fit for it um, right fitness to, means yeah. you have to be able to handle it well positively so look yeah. at him he has been there now 50 years 60 years i don't yeah, know many years true. that's true he's still fit working every day yeah. you read his that's social true. media he's so positive yeah. he's also been through ups and downs bankruptcy and nobody wanted to work with him and so many things yeah. but now he's at the top and he still maintains his level headed sensibility mm-hmm. and he's able to perform at the top of his game that is the that is fitness and if you talk about a younger lot of actors who who are they You know? like with Tiger Shroff. Okay. Yeah, but they're very young. You know, they have not seen yeah. anything, done anything. Once okay. they do and see, then you know how yeah. how they have handled it. <laughs>